Hi, I'm James, a knee, foot and ankle specialist, and today we're going to talk you through the best exercises for posterior tibial tendonitis. We're going to take you through a three-step progression for these exercises over a six-week period. Normally, this condition takes somewhere between six and 12 weeks to get better. All of the exercises should be performed in a pain-free manner, and at the end of the video, we're going to give you some advice on exercises to avoid. Loop a band around your foot using the other foot as an anchor. Lift your foot towards the ceiling, holding for 45 seconds before returning to your starting position. Place the band around your midfoot, lift up against the resistance of the band to a neutral position, then bring your foot back and forth without allowing your foot to drop down, maintaining the position throughout in a slow and controlled manner. With a band around your foot and the other foot holding the band in place, slowly lift your foot up towards the ceiling against the resistance of the band. Place a ball between your heels. Pinch the ball as you lift your heels up and down. So you're trying to turn your ankle inwards, pinching the ball in a slow and controlled manner as you move up and down. Place a band around your ankle, pulling towards the side. Stand on one foot. Resisting the band, try and lift your foot up and down, placing majority of the weight through your big toe and controlling your ankle as it moves through a slow, controlled motion. Stand on one foot on the edge of a slant board with a relaxed foot, then try and raise your arch without scrunching your toes up. So think about shortening the distance between your big toe and the heel bone. Slowly lifting up the arch and back down again. Stand on one foot on a balance mat with resistance pulling your ankle outwards. Resist the band while you move your ankle up and down Trying to keep your ankle in a neutral position with weight distributed through your big toe joint and do it slow and controlled throughout. So I hope you found them exercises helpful. In terms of exercise to avoid, if you think that the posterior tibial tendon runs down and underneath the inner ankle bone, the medial malleolus, if you drop your heel below neutral, so when you're stretching your ankle off the edge of a step, it can pinch underneath that medial malleolus and heighten your pain. So be careful when you're dropping your heel below neutral to stretch it. Other things to consider are avoid going uphill in the short term. That's a lot more likely to catch the ankle as well. Higher impact activity. If it's extremely painful while you do it, we generally we recommend that you either reduce the volume or stop completely depending on what your physical therapist recommends to you. Now all conditions on the inner ankle are posterior tibial tendonitis. We have a separate video that highlights all the different conditions that can cause pain in this area and if you are diagnosed with posterior tibial tendonitis it's important to remember to be patient with it. The rehab needs to be very progressive over time and if you try to progress too quickly there's a chance that you could irritate your symptoms. If you've got any questions please leave them in the comment section below. If you found the video helpful please like and subscribe to the channel. We've got other videos on posterior tibial tendonitis shoes and general advice on how to manage the condition.